it is deeply disturbing. This may be an Ontario scandal, but it's also a national shame. We need to do a better job of supporting our seniors in long-term care uh, right across the country through this pandemic and beyond. Um, this is a situation that has gone on for a long time. Uh, we need to take action as a country. Even though the military is deployed to homes in Quebec and Ontario, long-term care is the exclusive responsibility of the provinces. Thousands of facilities across Canada, a blend of private and public ownership. Soldiers blew the whistle on five homes, but the problem doesn't end there. I don't believe it's just five. We have to do a deep, deep dive into all the homes, and we're going to need the resources to do that. And that's why I'm asking for the federal government to, to help us and, and support us. Federal support means federal money and lots of it. To fix a system critics say is plagued by low salaries, limited training and a hunt for profit. Will the Prime Minister agree today that it is time to, remo to remove profit from the care of seniors? We will not be telling the provinces what they need to do in their areas of jurisdiction, but we all know uh, that there is a, a need for serious conversations within all orders of government. And serious conversations to overcome jurisdictional and financial barriers, to fix the sector where the vast majority of Canada's COVID-related deaths have occurred. I think Canadians expect us to be there for our elders and we will work very closely with the provinces and territories to understand how best to do that. The Ontario report will undoubtedly push those conversations forward and a second jolt could be on the way. The federal government confirms the military is preparing a second report outlining its findings in 25 long-term care homes in Quebec. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa.